Hi, I'm Glenn Everett, Master of Machines. We're in the pits with Peter Strauss here and he's got a very special car, a car that was owned and raced by Jack Brabham. Peter, great to see you. Tell us about this machine. Jack had this car in 68 for the first time in Melbourne, Australia, and he raced it at Sandown. And that was the first time the car was actually raced. It was built in England in 68. It was supposed to be the Formula One car, but they bought in new conditions and they had to have bags in the tanks, which unfortunately can't fit into these tanks because the chassis is involved in it. So the car was bought up here and raced in a Tasman series. And Jack raced at first at Sandown in 69 and then at Bathurst. And in Bathurst he beat the lap record by over four seconds. Wow. <laughs> so this is running the three litre Repco Brabham engine? It is engine. running the F1 three litre motor but also has the two and a half litre Tasman motor as well. Wow. Now most people will say, my goodness, you drive this car on the racetrack. I mean, I don't know of any others actually racing at the moment worldwide. Would I be correct in saying that? As far as I know, at the moment, out of the F1 V8 Brabham's, this is the only one that's on the track at the moment. They're getting so valuable, they're sitting in museums and private collections. And we are talking millions of dollars, aren't we? They're not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and how's it performing for you here this weekend? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, my ability as a driver would only be at best 70 percent of its capability there's not too many people out there that would be quite as good as sir jack is there uh, i'm no jack brabham <laughs> but you're still up the pointy end aren't you yeah well that's the car not me <laughs> how do you find it performs against some of the the newer vehicles out there it hasn't got the grip that cars with aerodynamics have and i'm up against much smaller capacity cars but they've got aerodynamics so I absolutely kill them in the straights, but they beat me around the corners. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these cars back in the day, in that 60s sort of period, they really did take nerves of steel to drive, didn't they? That, and there are not many safety factors in it. I'm sitting in about 80 litres of Avgas. <laughs> so if you crash, you're in trouble, and let's hope that never happens. <laughs> it's not going to happen, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose at the end of the day, if you're out there circulating, having fun and still seeing some speed out of the car, that's, that's the main thing, isn't it? Without putting the car at risk. Well, that's the main thing. I'm I don't put it in a risk situation. There are guys around me that are serious about their racing. I try not to get in the way because I know I can get them in the streets. <laughs> <laughs>